Okay, so having lost several planes uh, in combat at Flight Fest this year, I thought it was time for a new project. Um, so I ordered an FT guinea pig, which should arrive next week. Um, but what I thought I would try is to 3D print uh, the power pods. I thought that might be a fun project. And this is uh, what we've come up with so far. So as you can see here, it's a 3D printed power pod with a CPAC motor attached. Um, this is based off of another design on Thingiverse, and I'll provide links to those um, that these are derivatives of. But you can see here, it's a 3D printed power pod, printed in two sections, one section and two sections, just because the print bed wasn't large enough to accommodate the full, uh, the full part. They're just glued together, and as you can see, this curve here, and these different curve supports, those are there so that you don't need any printing support. This will print uh, without supports uh, on most any properly calibrated printer. So as you can see, the CPAC motor bolts right to the front. There are uh, pre-drilled screw holes molded in, as well as uh, the barbecue skewer mount holes. You'll notice there's uh, barbecue skewer holes here and here, and those are tubes that pass all the way straight through um, on, on there. So it provides a lot of extra support and strength uh, helps you guide the barbecue skewer through. You'll notice there's another one back here as well. Uh, these tabs obviously just slot right into the uh, into the underside of the power pod, or where the power pod goes. Plenty of room in here for your speed controller or any other electronics you wanted to put in here. You'll also notice there's a servo molded in uh, to a holder back here, and that's for a bomb drop. So what I did, and you can see here, there's a little bomb. That bomb is just put right into the hole in the bottom. And if you look at the servo here, as I activate it, the arm comes down and secures the bomb. There'll be one behind each motor, so it'd be two, one under each wing. And uh, it holds it nice and secure, doesn't rattle around too much. And when it comes time to release it, I activate the servo and it drops. Um, you could use this connector this design here and attach that to anything. It don't need, doesn't need to be this bomb, obviously. Um, so you could do pretty much anything you wanted to drop. Um, it's printed out of PETG. Uh, that way I'm not worried about warping in direct sunlight or on hot days. Feels like it should be plenty strong enough and relatively light. Um, it was printed on a Prusa i3 Mark III. So any comparable uh, printer should be able to print this with no trouble. Uh, just thought I'd share, and hopefully uh, I'll get this flying in a week or two. Thanks. Uh, another uh, 3D printed part that I'm going to be putting on the airplane uh, are these small, uh, small little adapters. Um, these are for the horizontal stabilizer and the rudder, the barbecue skewer that's used to support the uh, vertical rudder. Um, I figured rather than doing that for no other purpose that it's fun to 3D print parts, uh, this little adapter here. So that would be glued down to the horizontal stabilizer. Barbecue skewer then goes into the hole. And then up on the rudder, that one goes there. And so those would print uh, and then be glued right onto there. Again, it's not necessary. Obviously, you can just poke it with the uh, barbecue skewer and glue it in place like everyone does. I just thought this would be fun. Uh, there's a small hole here. And you could either drip some CA in there if you wanted to hold the uh, barbecue skewer in tight, or you can just do a little set screw like there. Uh, it's obviously not screwed in now. Um, and that would hold it in place. 